Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, Fort Mead hosts the annual National Prayer Luncheon. MacArthur Middle School rehearses an emergency response. A look at the upcoming Easter season schedule of the chapel. These stories and more. But first, last week we brought you a sneak peek of the Army's first ever on-post garden-style apartments for junior unaccompanied service members E5 and below. On Wednesday, Fort Meade and Pacern Military Housing officially broke ground on the $72 million Reese Crossings Complex. This no-cost of the government initiative is a first for junior enlisted service members. This is our first effort into junior enlisted housing, and we're going to take a look at it, see how it works, and then evaluate where it could add future benefit to the Army on other posts. Currently, Fort Meade has more than 1,300 junior enlisted service members living off post, competing for the same housing as everyone else. We have 1,300 plus single service members living off the installation today. We got to do something about that. The CERN stood up and said, we got to fix. We don't, you know, the reality is we're in fiscal challenging times. We know that. We read the news. We're impacted every day. It's going to get more difficult. Partnerships like Mr. Pacern and his team are coming to the forefront. Soldiers want to live like the rest of us do, close to work, close to conveniences, in a great environment. We were able to then work through a challenge here at Fort Meade, again in a partnership with the Army, to help solve what had become not only a funding problem, but a real estate problem. A small installation with a lot of command and a lot of growth and no place to put junior enlisted soldiers. Construction on Reese Crossings is scheduled to begin immediately with the first building and clubhouse set to be delivered by December of this year. Overall, the project is expected to be completed in October 2016. For more information on the new apartments, go to www.reesecrossings.com. In other news, if you happen to drive by MacArthur Middle School on Wednesday morning, you might have noticed the entire student body had evacuated. The evacuation was part of a drill conducted along with the Directorate of Emergency Services. Anne Arundel County Public Schools are required to conduct five emergency response drills every school year. Sixth graders, sixth grade teachers, begin to cycle your students back to advisory. Take them back into the building at this time, please. Elsewhere, Fort Meade welcome Chaplain Major General Retired Matthew Zimmerman as the guest speaker for this year's National Prayer Luncheon. In August 1990, Chaplain Zimmerman was appointed the first African-American Chief of Chaplains in any service. Chaplain Zimmerman's presentation used the biblical story of Gideon and his fight against overwhelming odds and compared it to the struggles of today. We all have plans that go astray once we have made them. Our ups and downs of life, some would call them. And who though among us is able to say that those plans that we had so carefully laid out that went astray, who among us are able to say always that they, the plans that were original were not in our best interest? And when things start going wrong in our lives, Remember that it still could be for your best, in your best interest, and certainly as a step towards the kingdom. Everybody got that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they said, yeah, it's time to go. Okay. Um, that's it. Thank you. In a related study, the Fort Meade Chapel invites you to participate in a busy Lenten and Holy Week schedule. Here are some of the highlights. Protestant services begin on March 20th with the Living Last Supper at the Chapel Center. Protestant Palm Sunday services start with an 8.30 a.m. Episcopal service. The Holy Thursday and Good Friday Protestant services are being held at 11.30 a.m. at NSA. Easter Sunday services start at 8.30 a.m. at the Post Chapel. Catholic services include Palm Sunday Masses on March 24th. The Catholic Good Friday service is at 11 o'clock at NSA. The Holy Saturday service is at 8 p.m. at the Chapel Center. And Easter Sunday Mass follows the normal schedule. You can contact the Post Chapel for more information. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. I will always do my duty.